In the late 19th century, a dark chapter unfolded in the heart of Africa. King Leopold II of Belgium seized control of the Congo, embarking on a brutal reign of terror that would claim the lives of an estimated 10 million Africans. This is the story of a hidden holocaust, a forgotten genocide that demands our attention. King Leopold II, driven by a thirst for power and wealth, sought to raise Belgium's prestige through the acquisition of a colonial empire. Undeterred by opposition from his own countrymen, Leopold turned his focus to explorers and missionaries, laying the groundwork for his ambitions in the Congo. Under the guise of a charitable organization known as the International African Association, Leopold gained control over the exploration and surveying of the Congo. In 1884, at the Berlin Conference, his territorial claims were recognized by other European leaders, solidifying his grip on the Congo Free State. The rubber boom of the late 19th century provided Leopold with a golden opportunity. The Congo, rich in wild rubber, became the focus of ruthless exploitation. Congolese men and women were forced into labor, subjected to inhumane treatment, and pushed to meet unrealistic rubber quotas. Private companies were granted concessions to extract rubber, while all other land was declared the property of the state. The Congolese people suffered under the yoke of unregulated violence and exploitation, as their resources were pillaged for profit. The Force Publique, a colonial military force composed of white officers and African soldiers, was deployed to enforce the rubber quotas. Villages were given impossible targets, and failure to meet them resulted in brutal reprisals. Men were mutilated and killed, while women and children were held hostage until the demands were met. The soldiers, driven by Leopold's system of terror, collected severed hands as macabre proof of their killings. These severed hands became a currency, a symbol of compliance in the face of unspeakable violence. The rubber quotas were enforced through terror, leaving a trail of destruction and death in their wake. The Congolese people endured unimaginable suffering. Villages were razed, and starvation and disease gripped the land. Smallpox, syphilis, and dysentery were introduced, further decimating the population. The pursuit of profit and personal gain by King Leopold II disregarded human dignity, resulting in the first genocide of the 20th century. It was the reports of courageous missionaries that brought the atrocities to light. Their accounts reached the United Kingdom and the United States, sparking international outrage. In 1908, the Belgian government officially annexed the colony, but the Congolese people remained bound to supply their labor to European industries and companies. Belgium has since acknowledged and apologized for certain aspects of its colonial rule in the Congo, Rwanda, and Burundi. In a letter to Congolese President Félix Tshisekedi on the anniversary of the Congo's independence in 2020, King Philippe of Belgium expressed profound remorse for the acts of colonial violence inflicted upon the Congolese people during Belgian rule. The legacy of King Leopold II's reign in the Congo serves as a haunting reminder of the depths of human cruelty and the consequences of unchecked power. It is our responsibility to confront and acknowledge the past atrocities, ensuring that such horrors are never repeated. The hidden holocaust of the Congo must be brought to light and given the recognition it deserves serving as a cautionary tale for future generations. Thank you for joining us on this illuminating journey through time. Follow us to explore the depths of history and gain invaluable insights.